Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, latest video. Um, in the last video, I said I'd go through my uh, well, my method anyway of repainting the uh, Batman Mark II into this regional Rebels colours. This is a finished coach. She's a TSO. Um, so I'm going to go through what I did to uh, basically repaint it from basically one of these. Well, that's basically from one of these. Um, since that last video, um, a friend of mine, Jack, asked me to make him a set as well. So uh, I'm actually in the process now of doing the last two, um, the last pair. One of them's going to be his and one of them's going to be mine. Um, this was going to one of my ones. And uh, as you can see, I've fitted passengers. And I've also, uh, see there's uh, pickups there. Right, focus. Yeah, there's pickups there. And I've fitted a strip of LEDs in there as well. Um, in exactly the same way as Everett Junction did. With his Mark II, it's, it's actually his video um, that inspired me to make these coaches. Um, everything on the coaches, apart from uh, the Cantrell Stripe, at the end there is actually painted um the stripes are all painted as well and as we go through the um the repaint now we'll i'll show you exactly how i got the uh stripes to be fairly straight and uh you know the the width widths aren't too bad on it so um yeah i'll take you through the process um as you see now these two here now are ready for priming, which is the next step for them. And they'll be primed, hopefully this afternoon, just see if I get time. Um, once they're primed, um, I will, uh, I'll get back to you on the progress of them. Just to go through some of the stuff that I'm using, um, the paints I'm using are these from uh, Rainbow Railways. That's regional right blue. Um, there's also mainline blue, which is the dark, um, the same as dark blue and the regional railways, rail grey and white. They're the main colours for the sides. Um, I've also got blacks and that. So I've got the way I mix my paints. I mix them into these little pots. So that's your uh, the uh, regional light blue there. So you give these a a shake and uh, before I use them. And what that does is basically means I use less paint. Um, I don't have as much wastage. Um, then just mixing them a batch and put it straight into the pot on the uh, airbrush. Um, it was baking me the same same paint basically. And I've got I've got a few here now ready to put some paint into it when the time comes. This is the airbrush that I'm using. It's basically one of the £10 ones off eBay and uh, to be fair if I get that finish from it you know, if I get that finish from it then I'm not complaining at all um, yeah it's a cheap airbrush but it is what it is and it's done a, it's done a good job for me so right so I'll be back now once I've um, primed these can hopefully be later on today and if not it'll be tomorrow so uh yeah i'll be back in a bit okay as you see nice and primed um it's uh i've covered the primer quite well on the sides and uh, there's the roof it's just had a, a light to dust in but uh, yeah i've covered it quite well on the sides because uh, the next color to go on um ironically enough is white um which will be for the stripes above the windows and below the windows. Um, so the reason I put enough primer on it is just to make it uh, a bit easier for the white uh, acrylic to uh, cover to cover it up, basically. Um, so yeah, it just makes that job a little bit easier. And uh, just for you know this is the primer I use which is uh, Halford's white primer um it's just it just does the job it's, it's good enough for it 
Um, yeah, so the next step for these now will be to airbrush the white onto the coaches, um, which you won't really see any difference. Um, so once that is done, um, I'll get back to you. One little point I'd like to make before I paint the white um, on the model, I will mask the uh, the ends where it's going to be black. Mask that off. Um, so then basically what you're going to have when you're painting the black, you're not going to have the... Um, acrylic finish you still have primer for the paint to adhere to better so the ends will be masked off before i paint the white you'll, you'll see that in a minute once i've just uh, once i've sprayed the white you'll see the, the masking going on on the ends all right so as you see now i've now um masked the ends of the uh the, well, the black areas on the ends of the, of the coaches so i've tried to get the uh masking quite even on both sides so now it's uh yeah paint the white on the uh the rest of the coach sides right so there's the the white sprayed now obviously you can't tell the difference because it's just white paint it's gonna white primer um the next step will be the dark blue around the windows of course that'll require more masking so that should be tomorrow's step and then the uh, step after that will be the uh, to sort out the two stripes, the white stripe and the blue stripe. And that will be done in, in one hit, if you like, and I'll explain that when it comes to it. But for now, I'll be back once the uh, the blue's on. Right, so I'm just about to uh, mask for the uh, dark blue now, the regional dark blue, which is the, uh, the band around the windows. It's uh, the biggest patch of paint on these coaches. And it's probably the easiest to um, mask. Um, it's on the TSOs on these. Um, it's easier because on the brake coaches you've got the um, extra luggage doors and that, which is a bit more bumps and lumps to have to uh, negotiate with masking tape and uh, also a set of handrails. But on this, um, you'll see now um, how the masking goes. Um, so it goes from this to this is one I masked earlier. As you see, the uh, the top masking tape goes along the top of the windows, and the uh, bottom of the blue is uh, goes through the uh, door stops. If you see there, and the bottom of the uh, little hand uh, hand grabs. So there's one uh, coach that's been. Masked up now for the blue. So I'll just go ahead now and uh, mask the second one. And then I'll start spraying the blue. Something I'd recommend um, when masking, I use this 10mm um, uh, Tamiya masking tape. Um, as I said, two coaches seem to use a whole roll of these. Um, I don't really go that far, but it's good masking tape, it's really good masking tape. See the uh, dispenser cuts it for you as well. I won't, won't, uh, can't get it to, to focus on it, but yeah, it's good masking tape, but a cocktail stick is also very, very handy. For example, I'll show you here now. To get the uh, a really good finish on the masking tape. I'll always go with the co cocktail stick and go along the uh, the edges just to make sure it's completely flat. And when it comes to the door shuts on here, I'll show you quickly. I always press the masking tape into the door shuts. That means I don't want to get much paint leakage because white isn't the easiest paint to uh, to touch up with, and this is quite a dark blue. So uh, that's one top tip to, to press the masking tape into the door shut with one of these, a cocktail stick, or if you're American, a toothpick. Um, yeah, it's 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 a it's a pretty uh, it's a a really good uh, piece of advice. Um, for example, now on this uh, center door here, I'll just press it. All the way along with the with the uh, cocktail stick, and then the door shuts. 
I'll just press it along with that. Same as this one. And that'll uh, minimize the uh, the paint leaking. Okay, so the masking's complete, and so the next job is to mix the paint. This is what I've used. It's a mainline blue from Rainbow Railways. See there? It's the uh, the water-based one, it's acrylic. Um, I thinned it down into these little bottles, which are just a little bit smaller than the Vallejo ones. Um, I've done that because um, I can measure it out fairly accurately and it means I'm using less paint because I just load as much paint as I need if I need more paint and I can just tip some more in so it's handy to uh, mix them into little bottles like these um, so I'm going to start using the airbrush now and I'm going to get back to you once I've uh, painted the blue it's going to take a few coats I think um, but yeah it's important if you do this with your bottles um, and your paint Give it a good shake before, because uh, if you thinned it, then it'll need a good shake. Give it a good shake, and then you're you're um, you're ready to go. So that's my mainline blue, also the same shade as regional blue. And then I'll uh, I'll get back to you once I've sprayed it. Well, as you can see, we're getting there slowly now. You see, uh, it's not completed. Um, it still needs a. Uh, you can definitely see there it needs a couple more layers at least but you see the uh it's uh it's really coming along now yeah i'm quite pleased how this is going but of course uh i've got a little uh whiskey and coke there just to uh keep me going through this task okay so that's the uh, blue spray done now it's time to take the mask and tape off it's best to do that when the models are still a bit wet so you get uh, smoother seams between the uh, different colours. Okay, so uh, both coaches now have uh, the dark blue on. A few bits need touching up here and there. Um, the masking's not been quite as good on this round uh, of coaches, but uh, nothing that can't be fixed with the uh, touching up brush. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the masking off for the light blue stripe. Um, and once that's painted, that'll uh, give you the white and the light blue stripe as well in one go. Um, and then after the light blue, it's the uh, rail grey down the bottom of the coach. So um, I'll have to leave this here for today. And I'll be back tomorrow at some point, masking the uh, the light blue stripe. So uh, like I said, our next job is to mask for the uh, light blue line. And we're using these templates. This is the template for the white line. Which I'll use to gauge. Um, if I can get this to focus there. Basically, the white line runs there. If you can see that. The white line runs there. And I'll use the transparency of the... Um, off uh, the masking tape to measure that um, as you'll be able to see where this uh, join line is um, through the masking tape and then I'll do the same sort of thing again with the uh, second bit of masking for it I'll use this uh, blue template then to uh, mark out the uh, I'll just space out the the masking tape for the for the weather line needs to be painted. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mask these now, and uh, I'll show you then again with the templates, and hopefully you'll be able to see what I mean a bit better. I think you see what I mean better now. You can see where the tape sits; it's just below the um the blue line on the coach. So you could see if I can get this to focus. Yeah, that's the width of the template, and the width of the template is between the blue line and the edge of the tape. So that's how I've got the uh, the line to be as consistent as I can through the whole coach. Okay, then, and the same with the uh, 
same with the blue line is the the uh, template for it and as you can see that's the width to that so that that's basically how i've got the uh the the, the stripes correct well as correct i can get um using these uh, templates okay so that's the blue uh sprayed on and i'm going to take the uh, masking tape off and see what i've come up with so that's all the masking tape there so a fair bit of masking tape they've come out not too bad not quite well really um a little bit of touching up there on the blue line on the door um but the rest of it this is my coach the rest of it's come up pretty good I've got a few bits of the bleeds gone under the line, but that doesn't really matter too much because, of course, I'm going to paint that area real grey next. So, yeah, I'm very happy. That's mine. And now I'll show you the other coach, which is for, for Jack. And, it, yeah, they've come out as good as they could have. I'm very, very happy with Yeah, very good. I'm uh, very happy with how they've come out. Just thought we'd have a little look how the templates have uh, ended up. So here's the uh, the white. See, it's about right. It's good. So the white temp uh, templates worked, and the uh, the blue template, yeah, that's also worked as well. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with them. Nice and straight, nice and uniform on uh, on both coaches. Very happy. Right, rail grey next. Right, okay, so uh, another day. So I've been uh, a bit busy today uh, between doing this, this uh, the last colour, the rail grey, which is on now. Um, I've been quite busy going out filming some Colas Class 70s. It was a, a relaying the track down not far from where I live. And... Uh, so I'll be filming a few of them. Um, so, uh, yeah, after I managed to put the rail grey on the bottom of the coaches. As you can see, a few bits to touch up. Here's the other one. So, yeah, not too bad. You can see the, uh, I've taken the masking tape as well off the ends. See there, it's uh, just primer there. So the next step now will be to paint these black ends, so uh, to mask off the the sides of the livery there, and mask the rest of the coach off, and just spray them black tomorrow. So uh, once I've done that, I'll uh, I'll get back to you. Right, okay then. So there's the uh, two coaches, the painting. Thankfully, it's finished on these two coaches now. Um, I've painted, well, today I've painted the black ends. Um, I painted the roofs and I reassembled them. And they're both now in uh, in gloss. So there's one of them. And there's the other. So of course now the next step with these are the uh, the transfers which I have over here, um, which are a mix of Fox transfers, uh, in which is the Riesel Railways logo. Uh, yeah, Riesel Railways logo, and the numbers is in this pack, and the other pack is from Railtech. And it contains the uh, overhead warning flashes um, and the uh, coach end detailing. Your data panel on the uh, the C1 markings. So 
So also in my uh, ever-growing transfer collection here, um, I've got the transfers, so there's more uh, more warning flashes. See there. There's some uh, transport for whales. Uh, EWS. There's all sorts in here. Um, but also, and I don't know where I've put it, I've got um, orange cantrail um, stickers, stickers transfers, which will uh, just wrap around the ends, just to complete the uh, orange cantrail, which you can just see, maybe just make out on the edge of the roof there. I don't think you'll see it but uh, the only way I could get that done uh, in a tidy way was um, literally to cheat by using uh, an orange sharpie along the edge of the uh, of the roof it is there it's just uh, it's difficult to see so yeah right so by the time I come to the next clip the uh, the transfers should be on and the coaches should be um, in in matte coat, and hopefully they'll be assembled. So uh, yeah, I'll get on with this now. See how far I get. Right. So the uh, the transfers are now on. The models have been matte varnished, and as you can see, they've been reassembled. Um, I still need to add some uh, more passengers. Which I use these from uh, model signs. Um, oh, I don't know how much these are. They're, they're, they're less than five for a pack of a hundred seated. They're painted pretty poorly, but um, to be honest, when they're in the model, you don't really notice that much. So yeah, so these are mine. My three Jacks four uh, are now in the post. Uh, they were sent out this afternoon for Jack, um, so I hope he enjoys them. Um, yeah, so the whole project would consist of seven repaints, um, and then these three were fitted with uh, lighting as well. And as you see, I fit this as an end coach, which has been fitted with a KD. Then as you see, these are fitted with uh, hunt couplings. Um, so I'm using hunt couplings within the rake. And on the outsides, I'm using the uh, the KDs. So yeah, I think you'll probably agree with me. These repins haven't come out so bad. I'm quite happy with the consistency of the lining. I'm uh, happy with the, with the finish. Just to think, I've done it with a £10 airbrush off eBay. Um, I think I've done pretty well, to be fair. Something that I haven't uh, shown in this video, I don't think, are these two coaches. The uh, Batman Mark One. I. I was already in Regional Railways Clothes, that escaped the repainting. This is a Hornby Chocolate and Cream Mark I, um, which is in the rake because they used to have these coaches hired in from Riviera trains um, to strengthen them during the summer periods or during uh, busier periods. So that gives me, that completes the train these coaches. Again, these coaches are both populated um, and they're lit as well. Um, this coach is fitted with uh, hence couplings on one end and KD on the other. As it's uh, part as as it's the end coach of the normal rake, this has KDs on both ends so that the uh, it could just be added to the to the rakes uh, with no difficulty. But yeah, as you can see, there uh, I've got people inside. The pole is hard to see really. And they're uh, they're both lit as well in the same way as the uh, the Mark Twos are.
So from this view, you can see uh, that the lights and all the coaches working. This uh, on, the, on the front row, you've got the three uh, repainted. On the rear two, you've got the two Mark ones, which I just did some modifications to. So that's the end of this project, this repaint project. Um, one of the next videos, it could be the next one, um, we'll be weathering them. Um, it'll just be simple techniques, weathering them. Um, basically emulating whatever our junction did on his Mark IIs. So, uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it's uh, inspired you and hope everyone's uh, keeping safe as well during this uh this coronavirus uh, outbreak and keeping well during lockdown thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one